Welcome to our crib. <laughs> like MTV. Come on in. I just wanted to introduce you to a house that we are getting ready to finish. We have people moving in on Friday, and I just wanted to give everyone a chance to take a look at what we do, see before we complete everything, uh, and get a chance to meet our operations manager, Kenny, because he's the one that makes it happen at this stage. Right off the foyer, we have an office, and uh, this is nice, so if you are actually using this as a business office, it's close to the front door. You can bring clients in without them going through your entire home. We did a set of custom built-in shelves. Uh, it's a smaller office because it's not gonna be used that much, but the homeowner did wanna have one. Uh, as we walk through this uh, stone arch into the family space, there is a sunroom on your right and a double-sided fireplace that's a pass-through from the sunroom into the great room. Uh, we have a new clean barn mantle. Our LED uh, televisions aren't up yet, but there's actually TVs that mount on both sides of the wall. Uh, we have, we're working on our light behind the crown molding. And um, as you can see outside, we got the pool in, even though it's cold, uh, we wanted to get it in before uh, the weather got too bad so that in the spring, as they're living here, they can open up and get the most use out of their pool for next season. Uh, we're doing a little cleaning in the screen porch. Uh, we have a kitchen that uh, they added last minute where we're going to be doing a um, outdoor kitchen with a stainless steel grill that actually vents out through the ceiling and that'll be part of the screen porch. We also added a wet bar with a wine rack and a small appliance refrigerator for entertaining. of course right off the kitchen where we have more commercial style appliances, countertop depth refrigerator, uh, larger oven with the hood and uh, we're currently working on our microwave as we are getting that replaced right now. Uh, we have an issue and then we have a very large walk-in pantry and the walk-in pantry has custom shelving throughout and actually a window for daylight. So this allows the daylight to come through and it makes this a four-sided room for lighting and it helps to make everything much brighter. If you uh, have a way of looking up, you can see that this is an interior um, hip ceiling and it has two beams that we actually made out of reclaimed wood and they are hollow on the inside top, so there will be light that shines up into the ceiling. All right, there's somebody I want to introduce you to. It's Kenny, he's our operations manager. I think he's back here in the master bathroom. Kenny? Yes. I want to introduce you to everyone via the internet. <laughs> Hello, interwebs. This is Kenny Seaman, he is our operations manager. He is the one that is solely responsible for getting the homes completed at this point. Uh, we'll take them through as a group or a team process through construction, but Kenny is really the one that helps get them buttoned up and finished and looking like they do. Uh, we receive a lot of accolades and compliments for how nice our homes look when people move into them, uh, but Kenny is the responsible party for that. Why, thank you. Yeah, can you uh, tell anybody about what you're doing here or anything about the um, bathroom, bedroom? Basically, this is the master bedroom. Um, Everything was completed in here the other day. We had some miscellaneous electrical, uh, paint touch-ups, whatever. Um, the cleaning people finished up the other day, and uh, I was just finishing up some stuff in the bathroom. Um, this is the master bathroom. Um, you have the heated floors, uh, walk-in shower, and this shower is really cool. It's uh, got your frameless glass instead of actually having a shower valve. Everything is controlled by a touchpad, and you can control your temperature, your water flow, and it can also be done wirelessly through your phone. Just in case you need that. Right. So and we have the heat under all these floors as well? Right. And then that system is separate from the shower valve. One thing that I think is very nice is when you come off of the master bathroom directly into your laundry room, uh, especially when you're in a 
um, house where you want to age in place and you're going to keep this home. As you get older, uh, the occupant load is going to reduce and the only people going to be here are usually uh, the couple. And that allows them to come in, be able to get everything taken care of in one contained space. Uh, we actually have a nice sink, just same kitchen quality cabinet, sink, granite. We have uh, elevated pedestals that we built. These were built specifically higher than what is commercially available so that the homeowner can put uh, their laundry into the front loads without bending over whatsoever. And we put all of the mechanicals in for that to fit. We have a built-in desk a drying rack system, a secondary refrigerator. And one neat thing about the house is we actually have an in-the-wall vacuum system where the entire hose actually goes up in the wall. So there's no hose, hose storage or anything like that. And you can pull this out, simply turn, um, lock the hose in, turn on a switch, it operates. When you're done using it, you simply just pull back and pulls right back up in. And then we're able to keep it a kit in the nearby closet for the sweeper head, uh, duster brooms, and any other accessories that they wish to have. In this house, we wanted to pay attention to detail. Uh, some of the things that we did are transoms above some of the doors. This one happens to match the one over by the office and also on the entry door. We actually created our own handrail system out of three quarter inch gas pipe. Uh, this is an available uh, as a standard product. Most handrails have a vertical balustrade system, but we wanted something that was more linear to go with the hall. So we actually had, um, we had the uh, gas pipe cut and we painted it with an automotive finish so that it was much harder and resilient to damage. We have actually three tones. So you have a stain, a paint, and then different color paint and that follows that same theme over into our locker system. We three-toned that as well, where we have a paint, a stain, and a whitewash. And the whitewash actually matches the whitewash in the kitchen ceiling. I'm gonna head on downstairs, and I'd like you to follow me. We can show you the theater area and also some additional bedrooms. So in this lower level bedroom, we actually have an escape well that is required by code. Um, there is uh, something called egress, which is emergency exit. So by any occupant, as small as a child, can open this, simply push the screen out, and we have a cover on right now because it's winter, but you can just pop that cover aside and go up the ladder and get out in case there was an emergency, a fire, anything uh, that would require emergency exit. We have created a headboard wall in this space to help hide some of the plumbing in that area, but it's just kind of a neat little extra added touch to personalize the space and make it feel less like a basement and more like a lower level or an extension of the upper floor. During the original um, development of the home, we did not have a wall here and you just came down into the family space, but then the homeowner asked if we could add a little bit of additional soundproofing for their theater recreation area to the rest of the home since the hallway is so open. So what we did is put in a wall that's fully insulated and we custom built these barn doors. Uh, this isn't something that you just go buy at a home improvement center, but we custom built these and we whitewashed them to match the ceiling and the lockers upstairs and we used a hand hammered black hardware on them and then you come into this theater area and it's very large but the idea is it's not just a movie theater it's a family area sometimes um, we'll build a house where there's theater seating and it's very structured and very rigid and the idea is that they want their children and their grandchildren to come to visit have places to play to be able to have um, your uh, movie or sports or whatever entertainment you're watching on the big screen on the wall. And then you can have other things going on. You can have a game table, you can have room for a popcorn maker, and we even put an additional bedroom off the side uh, during construction just because we had the space.
we want to be your builder for life.